guys welcome back to the channel thanks very much for joining us again today we've got a very short video tutorial for you today that'll show you how to make a portfolio on weebly once you've done watching the the tutorial you can click a link in the description down below that'll take you to a free trial version of weebly so if you want to give it a go once you're done with the video then that's in a link down below all for free once you've clicked that link, you can log into Weebly with your Google account or an email, and that'll bring you to the dashboard, which I've got in front of me. Um, it'll probably load a, a website builder wizard when you first log in. But if you give me a second, when you get to the main dashboard, if you've got them there instead, um, you'll be able to select my site, which will then give you access to the button that says add site. Um, so, yeah, that will uh, give you then the ability to select just a website that you need at this stage, unless you want to be selling stuff on there as well. And as you see, there's a category specific to portfolio sites. Now, it's not an extensive range of them, but try and find the one that looks closest to what you want out of yours. You could also browse the other categories. You know, you don't feel the need to stick within that category just because it says portfolio. Um, and then once you kind of found one that you like the look of, obviously I'm not going to go for that one then, um, you can hit the start editing button in the top right hand corner. So that will then allow you to, you know, enter the website builder mode, which, you know, you can very quickly swap those images and change them out for something of your own, uh, replace the logos and the text and the content of that site with something of your own as well. Um, so that will very quickly and easily become, you know, your site. Uh, so if I go just for one of these standard portfolios, that other one didn't seem to want to load. So yeah, and it's, you know, very easy to use, very intuitive, very self-explanatory. And when it does load, you'll see that the first thing that it offers us is that, you know, you can connect a custom dom domain to it. So that's something I'd, I'd recommend. If you're building a portfolio to send to external clients and, and potential employers to have a domain that you've kind of invested a little bit of money in that's specific to your name it just gives a very good first impression so that's just something i'd recommend um and yeah you know once you're in here you can see that everything is selectable everything's changeable and modifiable <clears throat> and you know the text for example when you select that You've got a little menu that appears and um, it's, you know, the basic stuff that you'd associate with a word package as well as the sort of, you know, blocks and, and the background itself. You know, everything's just a single click, really, to edit it. Um, and you can see that, you know, even the buttons and things like that, they come up with a little uh, drop drop down menu where you can easily add it, you know, what that button does in terms of performance when it's clicked. And you've got most of the sort of standard stuff then that you'd associate with web design on the left hand side. Pages at the top of the menu here will allow you to access all of the pages that you've got in your website as well as um, add new ones. So if you wanted to, for example, if I go back for a second, if you wanted to add a blog, um, hit the little plus symbol up the top there and then that'll give you a blog page. We've got extensive tutorials then on the channel about, you know, creating blogs and doing the SEO for them and things like that, so check them out. You can change the theme at any point, the fonts, and again, there's you know, tutorials that cover that on the channel, and um, at any point as well then, access the settings for that particular website and you know, change the URL and, and get the marketing of it right and, and use sort of third-party stuff to track analytics and things like that as well, you know? So it allows for very easy uh, web design control. And yeah, once you're happy with the site, then you can give it a publish and, and start sharing it, you know, so it, it very quickly uh, could become your portfolio, really. So give it a go, click the link down below, spend some time in it, that's the best way to learn it. And um, if you've enjoyed the video and you want to learn more about Weebly, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them as comments down below as well. Thank you very much.